Yo, what's up guys? It's Keychan10 here. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will continue with some main story quests. We just prevented Regala from completely ruining the coal route. So now we get our reward. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please, if you can, leave a like, comment down below, and please subscribe if you can. Thank you guys. I really appreciate you. Thanks for everything and uh, enjoy the video. Come on, Aether. Time to go home. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Restoring Ether subordinate function to original code. Oh, shit. Got it. Now to get this back to Gaia. Can we explore around here a little bit? All of the visions are changed, and this one just arrived. Looks like there's really nothing left here to explore. Here. Let's talk. Yeah, one second. Trying to look around here for maybe some treasures or something. Please, Aloy. Come here. Yeah, one second, girl. And that's all of it. Aloy, here. Let's talk. Please, Aloy. Come here. <clears throat> the White House. The visions throughout the grove are different now. And this one, it, it just appeared. Is this your doing? The visions have changed. That's the one that inspired Chief Hakaro. More testimony of the old ones. Hear now the words that reunited a people. Following the tragic events of the war, Anne Faraday, the chief architect of the reconciliation effort, addressed a nation in need of hope. If we look into the future, the lens of the recent past, our fears loom. Wars waged against machines. Scarcity of food and water. Storms that drive us from our homes. But true courage means facing those fears with conviction instead of cynicism. Leading the peacekeeping effort with these brave men and women, these marshals of the new Southwest, has strengthened my conviction that when we are united, we can overcome any threat. Join me. Join us in that conviction as we strive for a nation and a world without want or war. Oh shit, you know how to salute. Reporting for duty, Commander. Commander? I'm coming with you. But Hikaru needs you. Because of you, he has new marshals. And a rallying cry the clans cannot ignore. 
So I will stand with you on your mission. Give whatever is left of my life. It is what I choose. How can I say no to that? So, there's someone who wants to join us. I need you to meet him in the foothills and guide him the rest of the way. Will do, Aloy. Go to the mountains, west of Plainsong. A friend of mine will meet you on the ascent. I'll join you when I can. A friend of yours? Should be interesting. Alright, I need to get Aether back to Gaia. Seems like capturing it did something to the other holograms too. Might be worth checking out. There's some side quests here. What are these? Signal spike. <coughs> Hunter arrow quiver. What's that? I don't even know what these mean. No cauldron. Is there like um oh this is stuff I haven't explored yet, that's right. The tonic right here. So those are um quests. Okay, okay, okay. Sea of the Sands 22. I'm level 27. Side mission. Signal. Signal spike. Drowned hopes. The enduring. Could do more side quests later. Return to base. Let's go ahead and return to base and then, um, we could always pick up some of these quests later. So, we can fast travel here. There's an exit to base. Uh, we could, um, travel here. Unknown settlement. Alright, so let's go ahead and get to this, um... Go ahead and get to this camp uh, campfire and fast travel. These calendars should put on a show or a single panel. Where do they even get such a weapon? And we'll continue the rest of the story. I might do some side quests to level up. Found that yet? Should be good enough. We got a spot open if you want to race. I gotta go. Don't be a stranger. Boy, you here to join the race? I just talked to you, lady. Alright. We'll go ahead and climb this mountain here. <coughs> yep, I forgot. I'm not supposed to touch those. They're taking all over the world. Make some bows, I mean some
some ammo here. Look how that owl died. Gotta stock up on medicine as well. You don't want this problem, buddy. You got to get out. You want to do it? You forced my hand. I was just gathering some berries. Hmm, what is this? Green shine silver. <laughs> this is just for, you know, materials. I didn't get any. Any more berries? Uh, is there a campfire there? Yeah, let's go check out this campfire. Nice, I needed foxbone. What's up? I spotted a group of Asram salvagers wandering the edge of the desert near the southwestern border. I'd report it, but I don't think they'll last long. If the machines down there don't get them, the storms will. Oh, that's kind of you. You should have been hand. Trade. What do you have for us? What is even this? It's a shock bolt blaster. Built by the Lowland Tenoth Weapon Master. This fast firing bolt blaster delivers powerful shock. Which is it? Okay. Keep an eye out for them if I'm down there. Okay. I think it's up there. Damn, this sun went down fast, didn't it? Go back to the base. Yeah, 
like this? Oh, uh, you're not waving a hammer around, Aaron. Try a gentler touch. And my big sausage fingers don't really do gentle, okay? Bring it back. Trace the line. To your right. Other right. I just saw it. It's the one Aloy found up north. Gotcha. They call it a, a concussion beat party or something. Yeah, now that's music. <laughs> this looks weird. Aloy! Aaron, you're all better. And you're here. Varl said you might need some help after all, doing uh, complicated things. We still have much training to do, of course. One does not become hunter in a day. Each seed grows at a pace of its own. Doesn't mean it won't bloom. You should know your Tanakh friend arrived. Katalo. I heard their warriors drink people's blood. I want to sleep with one eye open. I think he's seen enough blood for a lifetime. I showed him to one of the rooms. He seems to appreciate the privacy. Uh, looks like you've got things under control. I should get this to Gaia. Right. We'll keep on training. Catch up as fast as we can. I'm seeing glyphs in my dreams already. Well, while you've been off gallivanting around, I've been working with Gaia to find out more about the land gods. So from where I'm standing, you're in need of some training. Come along. Oh. Uh, oh, uh, okay. Focus acting up again. Yeah, it's fine. I can take a look if you want. Let's hey. talk to our companion. Hey. Uh, um, yeah, nice place. Well, it's companions. Not like I built it or anything. Right. Well, I can see why you. Uh, why you had your doubts about bringing us along. It is a lot to take in. But uh, don't worry. <laughs> That's nothing I can't handle. Right. I see Varl gave you a focus. Well, it doesn't look as you know, fashionable on me, but by the forge, the things I've been able to see. Granted, a lot of them are bad, you know, the old world ending and such. I'm still trying to wrap my head around most of it, but I never really understood how you were ever able to find my sister back in the Sundown. And now I do, sort of. It makes me feel like I could be useful, you know? It takes some time, but yeah. I guess you know what we're up against by now. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. When Varl first told me those bastards come from the stars, I thought he'd eaten too many of those medicinal berries. Yeah, but I've gotten used to seeing impossible things, thanks to you. I just wish they weren't always trying to kill us. Yeah, you and me both. It's a thunderstorm outside my apartment. How are you settling in? Yeah, Varl's been helping me get the lay of the land, when he's not getting all tongue-tied. I don't know who makes him more nervous, that Gaia lady or our new Utaru friend. Well, what about the Vanguard? Aren't you supposed to be back east, ordering them around? I sent some of them back to Meridian with a message. I doubt Avad will mind me sticking around to help the savior of Meridian. So, you've met our new Tanakh friend. He's, uh... Quiet. I thought his people were supposed to be bloodthirsty maniacs. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. Yeah. Well, I guess if you trust him, so do I. Good. So Talana came by the base? Yeah, more like rushed through. I was hoping she'd stay for a drink at least. Only Karja I've ever met who's any fun. But it seemed like she had more pressing matters to attend to. I should get going. I just keep uh, practicing with this. Aloy, we've gathered some supplies in that chest. Take what you need. Shoo! I'll take everything, my dude. Holograms. Gaia, I thought you said the data here was lost. 
I was able to repurpose the equipment to store the data you have acquired in your travels. Hmm. The old ones used holograms for everything. It let them experience a great many things. Looks like someone's made this space their own. I see you found Varl and Zoe's room, Aloy. Varl and Zoe's room. I believe they wanted private accommodations. I see. I see. Damn, there's like a thunderstorm going outside. Kind of scary. Rope caster. Why not, you know? Why not increase our, our gear, you know? I need a bellow back sack webbing. When I find it, I'll find it, I guess. Explosive. Uh, frost blasting. Maybe I shouldn't upgrade everything? What's this one? Whisper Hunter Bow. Stealth damage. Not equipped, so. Sky Drifter Razor Trail. Explosive blasting that's equipped to that. The shock trip caster. I don't know if you heard that. That was loud. So I have. I need a... can't really update that. Can't really update that. Okay. Ammo crafting. Not enough resources? Can I upgrade? A fox bone. Level 1 rope pouch. Okay, I guess we'll upgrade it. I don't want I want this upgraded. I need a rabbit's hide. So if I see a rabbit, I gotta kill him. Let's talk to our friend here. Aloy. Hey, it's good to see you. It's our weapons I'm master. Guessing you've got a lot of questions. I've been told of our enemy and their intentions. Your friends showed me to the vision you keep in this place, Gaia, and gave me this focus. I don't pretend to fully understand everything, but all I really need to know is where to train and when to fight. Welcome to the team, then. What are you looking at over there? The others have been helping me decipher the symbols the focus shows me. So, I thought I'd try to understand the weapon you intend to use against the enemy. This Hephaestus, it will be able to make machines? That answer to Gaia? Yes. How many? As many as we need. Such power. Has the world ever seen the like? Now that you know who the enemy is, do you have any questions? I'll admit, I find them hard to grasp. From the heavens. 
and invulnerable. For now. I will leave the strategy to you. I trust you will point my blade where it will cut the deepest. You said the Bulwark was your home a long time ago. That you were part of the Sky Clan. Yes. That's all you're gonna tell me? Fine. As you wish. My parents were killed in a clan skirmish, so... I was raised by my squad. As I grew older, I came to be known as an accomplished fighter. Takote took... a special interest in me. I fought by his side against the Karja, and led my squad on a dangerous climb into the Daunt. It was I who opened the gates at Baron Light, from the east side, allowing the Tanakh to raise it. That must have gotten you some attention. Indeed. I was welcomed home as a hero, and I was content. Then why'd you leave? I became a marshal. Why did you leave the Sky Clan to become a marshal? I was sent to the Cool Root by Takote. Back then, I would have obeyed his every order. I believed in him, like one would a father. I was too blind to see the fear in his eyes. Fear of a rising young warrior challenging his command of the clan. I returned a hero from the battle at Baron Light. But to him, I was only a threat. Never occurred to him that I had no interest in rising above my station. Damn. Why did Takote think you wouldn't be a threat to him if he sent you to the Cool Root? Takote knew that if I survived the Cool Root, I'd be forced to forsake the clan to serve the Tanakh as a whole. I'd never be allowed to challenge his command, even if I wanted to. After our victory at Baron Light, Takote spoke to our people, said it would be selfish to rob Hikaru and the marshals of a warrior like myself. Even though he knew perfectly well, I had no intention of ever leaving. It was exile. Guised as an honor. One he knew I couldn't refuse. So I became a marshal. And never That's looked back. Fucked up, dude. I'm sorry you had to go through that. I am not. Though it pained me at the time, a marshal is what I was destined to be. When we were at the Bulwark, the guard said something about the Wings of the Ten. Hikaru also mentioned it at the Cool Root. Dekka, too. What does it mean? The visions tell us that the Ten flew on great metal machines with wings. The Ten. And Pilots. leapt into battle from the sky. For us, to imitate this feat is the ultimate expression of martial prowess. And it is why the challengers leap into the arena during the Cool Root. Many times I imagined it as a child. The feeling of freedom. And the awe it must have inspired. What did Chief Akaro say when you told him he'd be joining me here? You spilt rebel blood at the Grove and helped reunite the clans. There was little more to be said. He understood. Well, Honor. I'm honored he lent me his best marshal. At least for a little while. Indeed. <sighs> Just got some water. Alright, let's continue with the dialogue here. What do you think of our squad? They seem eager to fight. Though I admit it is strange to see an Utaru in the ranks. Farmers don't make for effective soldiers. She seemed pretty effective when she took out the machines that were guarding this base. Interesting. Perhaps I am mistaken. Perhaps. I should go. Feel free to check in on Hikaru and your people. Doors always open here. I will. May the Ten walk with you. And also with you. Right, what is this? Ah, 
override available. Craft this override to unlock the ability to override this machine in the wilds. I wouldn't mind having this tri Triceratops with me. There's really a lot to do in this game. So many side quests to do. And then you got a farm as well. Just talk to Varl. This place is starting to come alive. Yeah, and Gaia placed all the data she got from your focus into that archive room. With the focuses you gave us, we'll be able to access it at our own pace. You know, learn and train. And if you need us, we'll be there to fight at your side. Got it. Thanks, Varl. Thank you, Varl. Looks like I was wrong about the Zeniths. Their ship didn't explode on its way to Sirius like everyone thought. And we saw how they lied about creating a better future at their launch facility. Guess they lied about what happened to their ship, too. But still, the tribe settling amongst the stars. I couldn't put a single dent in their shields, Varl. That one Zenith almost killed me. That didn't stop you from resurrecting Gaia. Won't stop us from using Hephaestus against them. Let's hope that's enough. Damn, Zeniths. How's, uh, training with so? You know we really are training. Mostly. Look, she reads glyphs faster than I can already. I'd be a fool to refuse her help. Of course. Training. You guys reading something over there? We just finished going through all the logs you collected back in Nora territory. And all Mother Mountain. It's hard to imagine that my ancestors were trapped inside without the knowledge from Apollo to guide them. Thanks to Ted Farrow. Yeah. I wonder how it must have felt when they were finally free. The world must have seemed so beautiful. I'm so lost it's right now because I haven't played this in so they long. Weren't much more than kids. And they became an entire tribe. Just trying to piece everything together as best as I can. I'm guessing you've spoken with Katalo? I wanted to pay my respects for those who fell when we were ambushed at the embassy told him I'd never seen anyone throw themselves at a machine like he did. He said a warrior shouldn't be praised for fulfilling their duty. <laughs> for a second I thought I was talking to my mother. Never thought a Tanakh and a Nora warchief could have so much in common. I'm guessing Talana didn't stay for long? You got that right. Makes you wonder what this Amadis guy did to grab her attention. Whatever it was, she didn't tell me. Must be quite a story. I guess she'll tell us when she's ready. How's everyone handling their focus? And we all have our difficult moments. Errant definitely curses the most. But I'm hoping Osiram's stubbornness prevails. How's everyone doing? Just taking it all in. No one snapped their bowstrings yet. All right. Think you Thank can you. Hold the fort while I'm gone. If Aaron stops listening to the same music over and over again, maybe we'll be fine. Uh, thanks, Varl. One more person to talk to, and we'll go talk to Gaia. Varl looks happy about his training partner. Learning is best done together. I see you've settled in. Gaia did say this place was built for us, so we could regain control of our lands with her terraforming system. Nurture them like the land gods do Plainsong's fields. It does strike me as odd that a place of life should have so much metal. You've spoken with Katalo? A few words. Tanakh don't have much use for us outsiders. You must have made quite the impression for him to offer his fealty. You've been getting to know Erend, I assume? Of course. Any friend of Varl's is a friend of mine. In this case, a very loud friend. Hmm. You've been getting to know Erend, I assume? Of course, in this case. So, how does a tribe like the Utaru manage to maintain the peace with warriors like the Tanakh? By holding them off. 
When our fields bloomed aplenty, the Tanakh looked upon our lands with envy. But Plainsong's dishes provided sanctuary and high ground to keep invaders at bay. In the end, even the Tanakh saw sense in a truce. The Utaru promised to provide the Tanakh with food from our crops every year. In exchange, the Tanakh would relinquish one of their own, a veteran, to train the Utaru in combat. This custom was abandoned a few years after the derangement. But some veterans still remain in the plains. I believe I've met them already. All right, what else do we have to talk about? You called yourself a grave to all living things. I try to bring comfort. I know that already. You said you set out to fight the car. I did. But it turned out news of my disagreement with the chorus spread through the plains. Before I knew it, I had more than a dozen Utaru warriors ready to follow me into battle. We knew we couldn't take on the Karja armies head on, but we also knew the lay of the land better than they did. We ambushed smaller raiding parties, sabotaged their supply lines, and hit their encampments at night. Sounds like you were a force to be reckoned with. Enough that the Tanakh took notice. When the clans began to push the Karja back east, they let us join their ranks. We chased the enemy all the way to Baron Light. You said you were at Baron Light when the Tanakhs defeated the Karja? Tanakh marshals climbed the Cliffs of the Daunt under cover of night, then attacked from the other side. Before we knew it, the gates were open, and the full force of the clans burst through. What happened next was... not something I like to remember. When all the dust and blood settled, I smelled it again. Damn. The stench of burnt flesh. Our enemies defeated. What was left of my squad returned to the Utaru Plains. I went back to Plain Song. But even as the harvest passed, it didn't feel like I'd truly returned at all. Is that when you became a grave singer? I thought soothing the suffering of others would somehow appease my own. Then you came along and gave me a choice. I could either sing at people's graves or fight for a chance to keep them alive. I'm glad you chose the latter. Right, I should probably go. I shall return to our training then. All right, that was interesting dialogue. A lot, a lot to digest there. Let's go ahead and talk to the guy and get even more confused. There she is. Back, Aloy. When you're ready, please merge Ether with me. Afterwards, I must discuss an important matter with you. What's this? Yeah, let's go change the scene the scenery, you know? This is like the um the dome in Las Vegas. you want to discuss while you were away i received an unusual transmission on my dedicated aluthia frequency who is it aluthia that's one of the sub functions you couldn't detect before yes the transmission occurred so slowly that at first it seemed like an accidental blip of data amongst background static once i noticed this irregularity it took some time to collate the complete message Where does it lead? 
to a mountain to the northwest of this facility. A word of caution, Aloy. It is possible this transmission is genuine. It is also possible it is being broadcast by someone or something else. You don't the think fuck? it's actually a Lucia? I am uncertain. What's SOS? It is an old world code. A distress signal. A desperate plea for help. Why would Aluthia send a coded transmission on a frequency only the two of you can communicate on? I believe it was done as a precaution to avoid detection. Or at least to create the appearance of the desire to do so. I am also uncertain why Eluthia would expect that I would be able to detect and respond to its distress signal at all. As far as it is aware, I no longer function. Okay, so... Either Eleuthia is in trouble, and sent the message hoping you were out there. Or, or someone trap. else is trying to get us to go to these coordinates, pretending to be Eleuthia. That is my conclusion as well. Could the Zeniths be sending the transmission? According to the data I reviewed on your focus, the Zeniths recovered the other Gaia root kernel in the Hades Proving Lab. It is feasible they used it to gain access to my internal frequencies. So... Maybe they sent it thinking you'd respond, and reveal your location. Possibly. However, the transmission is highly irregular. If they intended to provoke me into revealing myself, I would expect the communication to be more routine. Right. So maybe it's not them, then. You said the coordinates lead to a mountain to the northwest. What's there? I have no record of anything of note in that vicinity. Okay, and what about the other number in the message? 237. Any idea what that means? I have queried my available databases, but it does not appear to have any significance. Perhaps its meaning can only be understood at the indicated coordinates. All right, I'll go to the coordinates and check out the source of the transmission. All by yourself? Ha! No way. I included Erend and Varl in this briefing via their focuses. I concur that you should not investigate this alone. What if it's a trap? Of course it could be a trap. But if it really is Eleuthia, then it's in trouble, and I need to bring it back. Don't worry. I'll be careful and... We're coming with you. <sighs> Fine. Go grab your things. We'll wait for you at the west exit, in case you need to upgrade your gear. All right, distress signal. We have gotten stronger. Trader, machine, master. Deal more damage using heavy weapons. Heavy weapons can be shot off machines or picked up by fallen human. Weapon stamina, increase your weapon stamina limit to use the weapon technique with that two in R1. Heavy weapon plus lockdown shot. Aim in R1. Use up to three arrows of your currently selected type to deplete any a medium enemy. Enemy, <laughs> a medium amount of weapon stamina. I have enough to. This is five. Number of power shots four, and then the concentration return per hit, range damage. Some uh, 
Does not does no damage but stagger or knock them, leaving them vulnerable. Alrighty, well that was the end of this video. In the next video, we're gonna go ahead and go to those coordinates, investigate the ruin, find out who sent that transmission, why we have to go there. Is it a trap? Is it not? Well, we'll find out in the next video. I hope you like this one. Please, again, guys, if you can, leave a like, subscribe, comment down below. Appreciate you guys. Y'all have a good one. I'll see you in the next video.